All right, guys, wanted to take a moment and show you the shelter that I have built and put together um, that I'm going to be spending the night in. So, uh, as you can tell, right here, I used uh, large logs and did a log cabin style, we'll say. I uh, put the long logs this way and then smaller logs this way. I didn't do any notching but my tarp that is on top is 100% canvas tarp and uh, what I did was it was a 8 by 12 so I just made more of a pitched roof and by doing the log style across the bottom it gives me some more height to my shelter so this is more of what I would consider a shanty um, and I filled in a lot of those gaps that were between the logs with other punky wood and pine needles. I'm in a pine forest. They're plentiful around here. Um, what I did over here was I took a piece of leather and covered a front door entrance so, uh, so that I have a way to enter but also to help trap heat and keep wind out. Um, across the front I found some old uh, wood that was out here looked like from a fence being torn down and even though I did frame my shelter out in an A-frame style, have a, a bipod I built on each end with a cross beam, I took these um, old boards that I found out here and they are screwed in place. Now, that was just for uh, convenience sake, obviously, but also to make a little bit more of an airtight type shelter or something to help better keep that cold weather and wind out. Um, like I said, it is supposed to get down to 32. So, um, I'm going to go inside the shelter and try to show you what's going on inside there. Hopefully we have enough light. It is fairly dark in there, but uh, stick with me and I'll show you what's going on inside. All right, guys, looking inside the shelter on my left over here is a cot and I have two deer hides on top of it. One is a mule deer right up there. That's a mule deer and the one down there is a uh, white tail. I set my wool blankets right there. Um, that gives me a little something of warmth to lay on top of. That scrap piece of leather I showed you in my gear, I just laid right there for now to um, be more of something I can put my feet on. I have a wooden crate and I put all my cooking sewing gear down there. I have uh, my candle there and I have a uh, journal that I have been reading. It is Osborne Russell's Journal of a Trapper, and this covers the years of 1834 to 1843, and this is literally just a copy of the journal. Some things may say, you know, today we traveled from here to there, and that's it. So this is something that I have been reading uh, to just get greater understanding and respect of the traditional trapper mountain man. Um, on my back wall, I used one of my S-hooks to hang my wool jacket, as well as put my socks. I'm going to sit on my cot here and go the other direction. In the middle swinging, you see I used my other S-hook to put my candle lamp. That is the door. So the door is a small door, and I did that on purpose. The smaller the door, less gaps for um, air to escape. And at the very end of the shelter, I found this wood barrel, or this uh, barrel out in the woods, and I turned it into a wood stove. Just put a hinge, a little piece of metal here for a door, drilled some holes for air. I had this uh, in my shop and screwed it onto the top so I have somewhere to cook or warm stuff. Then that's a rolled stainless steel. Um, I made just a pipe and then I used a piece of gutter just to run it out the shelter. So this is where I will be staying tonight. Um, nothing huge, but room to sleep, room to cook, and relax. Which is really what this is all about. Challenging myself to simpler way of doing things and enjoying it. So, just wanted to show you the shelter um, from the inside. You can see all those logs that I did on the bottom, where the tarp comes down to, and the wood that I screwed across the back. 
as well as across the front. All right, guys, this is my mountain man sh shanty. Just wanted to show you as well that I can sit in here quite comfortably. I have probably two foot from the peak to my head and uh, I have plenty of room to do any crafts, any reading, anything that I need to by sitting on my cot and uh, being able to work right here in front of me. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Wanted to show you this shelter that I'm going to be staying in um, that I built for the Mountain Man Challenge. And again, the whole point of this Get yourself out there and challenge yourself and get in touch with the more traditional style of being a woodsman. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.